Thomas Lambert, is the ice caps north and south pole from the last vapor canopy just frozen? I believe so, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I read in the books of Charles Hapgood, he shows the actual cartographic evidence that whole islands, whole regions, land masses in the polar areas that are now covered in miles and two miles of ice were mapped out perfectly. Even the rivers and lakes that are underneath those ice caps. How is that possible unless in the, in the recent future, I mean, excuse me, in the recent history, within the last four or 5,000 years, somebody had flown over those regions and mapped that area. It's not possible. They could have done it by ship, but still, they couldn't have done it with the ice on top of it. I believe those polar regions were caused by the collapse of the vapor canopy, and I believe that most of the vapor canopy moisture is in the north and south ice caps. And once, now, here's something else I believe, too, and I've never mentioned this on any other channel because I don't want to open that door. I don't, I'm not doing videos about it because I can't cite sources. It's just a suspicion. There are a few times in history where things entered our world that we have absolutely no idea where they came from. One of them is the Voynich Manuscript. So, I have a suspicion that when the vapor canopy comes back, the barriers of ice that we have will be gone. Once they're gone, there's nothing stopping. I might hate saying this because it's going to open up so many doors. I don't believe that the continents that are on the world right now are the only ones in the simulacrum. I believe there are other ones that have been kept separate, and they, they themselves believe that they're also in their own little world, and they might have a suspicion that we exist as well. That's what I believe. I believe that when the vapor canopy is invoked and all that ice is removed, there will be nothing stopping cross-contamination between these worlds. They will go back and forth. Back and forth. We may, we may meet or come into contact with fleets of all new people who have been going through their own resets, their own mud floods, their own cataclysm uh, protocols, who've been going through their own AIX bullshit of the creation and generation of religions and cults and belief systems. Yeah. I won't go into that. I can't because there's no there's no source materials by which I can I can drive that. All I can do is cite different areas in history where whole fleets of a new species of men appeared for which we have absolutely no archaeological hint of where they came from. Like the Sea People's Confederation appeared out of fucking nowhere and just obliterated civilization after civilization after civilization. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go. We'll leave that alone for now.